Greetings! Welcome to Saint of the Week, the show where we choose one saint to be saved from this week and discuss their lives and their impact on the church. The saint for this week is Saint Stanislas, whose feast day is April 11th, this Tuesday. Stanislas was born on July 26, 1030, in the village of Stepanov, Poland, to noble parents. He received his education in Gniezno, which, is, which was then the capital of Poland, and later on in Paris. Stanislaus returned to Poland and was ordained a priest by the Bishop of Krakow. Stanislaus became archdeacon to the bishop and was renowned for his eloquent preaching that brought about true conversion in those who listened. He was very sought after as a spiritual advisor. In 1072, Krakow's bishop died and Stanislaus was appointed to the position. He only accepted, however, after a direct order from Pope Alexander II. For the remaining six years of his life, Stanislaus became very involved in Poland's politics. He brought papal le legates to Poland and encouraged King Bolesław to establish Benedictine monasteries so that the country could become more influenced by Catholicism. Unfortunately, Stanislaus ran into conflict with the king when the two got into a land dispute. Stanislaus had purchased some land for the diocese from a man named Piotr, but he had died and his family had tried to claim the land. King Bolesław ruled in favor of the family, but through Stanislaus, Piotr was resurrected and brought to court to testify in the bishop's favor. Piotr's resurrection is one of Stanislaus' most famous accomplishments and is commonly depicted in many different works of art. Stanislaus' conflict with the king worsened when he began to criticize Bolesław's unjust wars and acts of cruelty. Bolesław made excuses, then finally made a show of penance. He returned to his old ways, however, and Stanislaus finally excommunicated him. Bolesław was outraged, and he's ordered that Stanislaus be executed. The soldiers sent by Bolesław to kill Stanislaus refused to harm the bishop, so Bolesław decided he would kill him himself. He killed Stanislaus with a sword while he was celebrating mass outside the walls of Krakow, and the bishop's body was subsequently cut to pieces and scattered about to be devoured by wild beasts. The exact date of Stanislaus' death is uncertain, but it is believed to be either April 11th or May 8th, 1079. He is a patron saint of Poland, Krakow, and Moral Order. Stanislaus's courage in calling out a corrupt king provides inspiration to anyone involved in politics. Sadly, corruption has always, always existed and will undoubtedly continue to exist. But we can rely on the intercession of Stanislaus in calling for reform and justice. Saint Stanislaus, pray for us. Our honorable mentions for this week are Saint Casilda, Saint Magdalene of Canossa, Saint Teresa of Los Andes, Saint Martin the First, Blessed Peter Gonzalez, and Blessed Caesar de Bus. And of course, there are thousands of other saints who undoubtedly have their feast days this week, but you are sadly unaware of them and so cannot mention them by name. We hope you have enjoyed this episode of Saint of the Week. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Peace, Peace be to you. you.